I think one of the big parts of the movie that, that works and I think people enjoy is this sense of globetrotting and the sense of geopolitical sort of movement in a film. You know, obviously the Bourne films do it, Bond films do it, so it is part of the, the trope of the genre. So I tend to want to ground things a little more, so it was, it was important for it to be as real as possible and try to play the cities that we're shooting in as those cities, like Rome. Dylan, we got him at the right age, he's 25. He's the age of the character for real, the origin story of Mitch Rapp. So we just cast to that. I've done that earlier in earlier films where it was important for me to actually cast the age when it comes to young people. That truth sort of comes out, you know, the camera captures that. So that had a lot to do with it. Stan's a complicated guy, you know, he comes off like kind of your, he could come off like your straight military guy, but it was important that I think Michael identified a, um, uh, uh, first, a slightly sadistic side to this guy. You know, uh, he's a bit grumpy. He doesn't have a lot of patience for unruly, undisciplined people. But to make him beyond just your typical drill sergeant is that he has a psychological understanding, too, of what actually can go wrong with a guy like Mitch. We have to discipline him to listen more and to focus on the mission, not his personal need for vengeance and Hurley that's what Hurley's about and Keaton nails that because he brings an unpredictability to the guy it was important to to uh, make the point that it's about the mission not about you not about your personal grudge and your personal need and Hurley believes, and we see it, that it's sort of what trips Mitch up, and Hurley knows that. And I think by the end of the film, we see a growth, but I believe he's going to keep doing it. And that's sort of what unconsciously brings them always together. You know, it's always your, your enemy, the guy you think you have a problem with is actually, you know, you're looking in the mirror. I love designing something and seeing that be realized on the screen. That's what I love about action. It's not so much that I just love just action in general. I think it's just the, the dance of it is what I'm kind of more interested in. The way we've approached the film, the way I've, I've approached the film is to ground this story, is to make it as realistic as, as you can, you know. Um, even though Mitch Rapp is doing pretty outrageous things, you believe it. You know, and Dylan, I think, has really sold out because he's a real young American man that sort of ended up in this situation because of his trauma and what happened to him, him his character, the character loses his fiance. So um, they're all real emotions and real things, and I think Dylan has really nailed that.